My name is Brett Vavrick. I'm a grain farmer on Vavi Valley Farms and I've worked here my whole life. Step number one for us in uh, growing malt barley is making sure that we have uh, good soil preparation and good quality seed. Step number two is ensuring that our seed timing as far as planting uh, goes in early just to ensure a setup for an earlier uh, harvest. Step number three on our farm is typically when we try and spray for our, uh, in our crops. Uh, just try to keep a good clean field. Prairie Coast Equipment, their dealer support is phenomenal. Uh, with our malt barley growing season being as short as it is, uh, it's crucial that we get all of our grain off in good condition. Um, so they've helped us before with service, parts, the whole dealership as a whole has been great. Uh, to ensure that all of our grain gets taken off uh, in good timing. Step number four uh, is harvesting. We straight combine all of our barley to ensure that the quality is best. We take uh, extra precaution in setting our combines, making sure that none of the seeds are cracked or peeled. We try and uh, get it off as quick as possible to ensure a high quality malt barley grade, which uh, makes better beer. Hi, my name is Dalen Landis and I am the head brewer at Grain Bin Brewing Company. In order to make great beer, you need to start with great ingredients. So only the best barley gets picked. It gets sent to Canada Malting, where they germinate it. The barley then gets sent to places like us, where we mill it, and we take the milled grain and add hot water to it, and to what we call the mash tun. The hot liquid then gets boiled and we add hops to it. The bitter wort then gets pumped into a fermenter where we add yeast. As soon as we add yeast, the bittered wort becomes beer. And then we package it. We either put it into kegs and bottles and send it off to your favorite bars, liquor stores, and restaurants.